So I'm gonna give my two cents about this situation of foreigners in Japan ruining things, okay? While showing you my day in Tokyo. So the first time I went to Japan was back in 2017, so that's six years ago. And there's definitely differences now between when I went on how they treat foreigners. The first time I ever visited Japan, they were so excited and so shocked when they saw a foreigner even when you were in Tokyo. We would go to festivals in on Golden Week and we'd have like a lot of fun and people were super nice. The first nice experience we had was when we were trying to find our share house and we couldn't find it. There's this very nice Japanese guy who helps us. We get in the car. Oh my god, please. I still can't believe we did that, but we got in his car. He took our luggage and then he drove us to our share house and picked up his wife and then we all just chatted with our anime Japanese skills in the car but everyone was super super nice and I've absolutely noticed a difference since then. There's way more accessible menus to eat and there's a lot more English on the streets of Tokyo so it's easier to get around but Japanese people are definitely way more used to seeing foreigners and they're way more used to foreigners effing around. As you can see in this vlog we're in Akihabara, the electric town, we're gonna play claw games and um, we actually sumimasen a guy and if you don't know what sumimasen is, sumimasen is when you play claw missions and you ask one of the workers there to help you put the plushie in a better position so you can actually win it. It used to be super easy. You sumimasen and then they came, they fixed it and then you played. This time we actually had it happen that we sumimasen someone and they were like not helping us, which has never happened before, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's never happened before. And I think it's because foreigners are abusing it, just like we do in all our countries. Which people in Japan are too, they don't abuse things. That's why there's, it's very, very nice. You can dive more into why it's like that and the positives and the negatives of that as well. But that's why it's very, very nice here. And um, I think after all these foreigners, and it's become really famous in the newspapers, hasn't it? They talk about these YouTubers. I've seen them do exercises on how to stop YouTubers from doing stuff. What? Yeah, and they have YouTubers in Japan that do weird stuff as like they put on a bed in the middle of Shibuya Crossing, but I think that the <laughs> yeah, but foreigner YouTubers and stuff I think make give us a very bad reputation, which I'm scared to death when I'm in Japan. I feel like everything I do is like a felony. Like if I go into a restaurant and I don't know how to order, I am going to be like socially arrested for not behaving which it sucks that um, it's even worse now. Now they don't really give you the same benefit of the doubt anymore. So I can definitely say that there's a little difference after all this has happened, unfortunately. Taunt on opinions. Fuck foreigners. <laughs> you are a foreigner. Yeah, <laughs> fuck me. Lord. Keep Japan, Japan, Japanese. Keep Japan, Japanese. That's a joke. That's yeah. That's a joke. That's yeah. a joke. Yeah. It's a joke, guys, I promise. We had a fun time in Akihabara. Nevertheless, Tonton knows so much about how to get around stuff and um, it helps a lot. And she speaks Japanese, which helps a lot. I was just, we were just at Coco Curry. They were closed in 30 minutes. One Japanese guy went in, sat down, and then we were gonna go in. They're like, no, it's closed, we're closing now. And then we went home and we ordered from the same restaurant on Uber Eats. <laughs> <laughs> which they probably couldn't be bothered with foreigners so I feel like back in the day they would have been like oh sugoi but not anymore but anyways we still had a great time I won some great things without sumimasening we got on our little train and we got home and I was absolutely exhausted but I want to give you guys a little haul of everything I got in Akihabara welcome to haul time haul <laughs> The goddamn pillow. 10 yeah. out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Out of 10. Yeah. We have Kirby. Kirby! Kirby keychain. Hell yeah. Lord, please. Yeah. Super, super big, super sonic. <clears throat> Sailor Moon, Luna. My god, it's fuzzy. Mm. Fuzzy. Fuzzy, baby. Oh my god, I won this. And I lost one. But uh, Tauntaun like won them for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like a master at the claw machines. That was all for tonight. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Oyazumi nasai. Oyazumi. Minasan daisuki. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>